February 20th, 2020, I had the pleasure of sitting down with the often imitated but never duplicated, internationally known and locally respected member of the Illuminati, Mr. What the Fuck is a Furry, the one, the only, S-W-E-T-Z, Sweats. Sweats has produced and written hits like Gone and Clean Boy, and his newly released song called Turn and Walk has audiences entranced in his lyrics. Coming off his most recent sold-out show, Till Death, I wanted to catch up with Sweats to recap how life has been since his independent debut performance. Hey, sweats. Yeah, sure. Here. Absolutely. So, Sweats, can you give us your thoughts from the performance of Till Death? You know, the day after, you know, it kind of felt like, uh, it kind of felt weird because it kind of felt like, you know, you, you spent so much time and, uh, and effort and energy into this thing and, you know, it's just this flash in the pan and then it's over. We actually had a little bit of a shindig back here afterward and it was kind of nice to, to see, uh, you know, bringing together people um, that normally under regular circumstances wouldn't have been together. So that was, that was pretty nice to, uh, to see. One of the questions I've always asked <laughs> sweats was, yeah. <laughs> what does you think of the that day mean? I just did it because I could, because it felt good, it felt right. And Shishigadate was just a cadence that just um, sort of made sense in the moment. That's what I did, you know. I'm glad I did it, you know. Wonderful. Yeah, for sure. Wonderful. Yeah. Your co collaborators. All right. If they were mythical creatures, what would they be? Um, well, there's a lot of them, you know. There's conscience, you know. Um, conscience would definitely be a little goblin. Mark would definitely be a troll. Um, Zio, Zio would still be a black man. What would you be? Sweats? Me, I would be a a soaring eagle. I'd be a soaring eagle, spreading my wings so f far that um, I would provide shade for all the little school children coming home from school strolling down the mountain I would uh, I would watch them I'd care for them I'd vomit and they would eat my uh, my excrement eat your vomit well, they would because it's so nutritious after it passes through my guts um, and I think that's I think that's the role that I would play you know everybody has a role <laughs> shut up Zeus the most recent song that we did get was that is right, turn and walk, yeah. Can you give us an I think turn and walk is a kind of uh, this feeling of uh, detachment from a lot of my surroundings, you know, uh, detachment from my own life. It's almost a mentality that I had for myself in the past, and now it's like I'm kind of having to understand why I turn and walk. After my afternoon with Sweats, he took me out to lunch and around his neighborhood to show me where his journey began. I saw the train tracks, and I also saw where he turns and walks away. While I've always been a believer in his work, this time with him confirmed what I already knew about him. He is an evil genius and will be a cult leader very soon. A little boy came up to Sweats and he said, Excuse me, are you Justin Bieber? And Sweats slapped him. And his father came out of the house and said, Why did you slap my son? And Sweats' response was, Slap yourself, sir, and take your bitch-ass son in the house. And the man slapped himself. <laughs> 